Hi friends, this video is very important to know about new Gen Z slangs and this in continuation to previous video where you might have learned few such words. Please don't skip and watch till end because firstly you will learn new Gen Z slangs which you can make use to understand comments in social media by young generation and secondly you will understand when you interact with Gen Z people. Quick brief for those who aren't aware, Gen Z are those people who are born in the period of 1997 and 2012. You might have seen them use fancy words in the comment section or if you meet them. You will get started and look at 6 more words used by them. The first word is buzzing. Buzzing means extremely tasty or delicious food. It can also be used to refer to cool vehicles, impressive performances or anything excellent. My food is buzzing. Let's go there. The place is buzzing. These are some examples of saying my food is excellent. Let's go there. The place is really good to visit. This word was initially used to refer to dance around 2010 and later became popular in social media and its meaning changed to mean anything excellent. The second Gen Z word for the day is ghosting. So ghosting is about cutting a relationship. Let's say two people are in a relationship. After some time, one of them doesn't answer any messages or doesn't reply to the other person. So. The second person is said to be the victim of ghosting. Around 2012, when dating apps started getting popular, this term also started becoming popular among younger generation. I am ghosting around. I have been ghosted few months ago. This is how you use it in a sentence. We still have four cool words to see. Before that, I request you to take a moment and subscribe my YouTube channel and share it to your friends. The next slang term we will see is salty. Salty doesn't mean about salt as food ingredient. Salty means being upset or sad or irritated over an unfavorable incident that happened. You bet and play a game and you lost all your money. You're salty because of it. So salty like other slang words have changed its meaning multiple times and is at least 150 years old. Earlier it had a connection to sailors and then it meant something vulgar. Over times the meanings changed and currently it refers to being bitter or upset. Raju was salty and I didn't feel to invite him to party. This is another usage. Let's go to the fourth term, spill the tea. Spill the tea refers to sharing gossip or personal information. So it's believed to have originated in LGBTQ plus community and then spread to back culture and then to rest of the world. So tea used to refer to gossip. Spill the tea refers to spilling the gossip which is sharing inside information to others. Can you spill the tea and tell me what's going on with him? She doesn't spill the tea about her friend. These are few statements to use. We just have two more interesting words to cover. The fifth word is thirst trap. Thirst trap is posting a selective image on social media to grab eyeballs. The term thirst trap came from thirsty, well thirsty for attention and trapping the person's attention. In Instagram, influencers post sexually attractive photos and add hashtag thirst trap Sundays. This term thirst trap became widespread along the selfie culture. Finally, we have the last word for today which is eat. Eat has slightly different meanings. It refers to an exclamation of excitement, sometimes as approval, sometimes surprise and often said when uh, doing a dance move or throwing something with hand. When a person dances to hip hop song, he sometimes exclaims eat while performing dance moves. Now the second reason you use eat is to show enthusiasm and approval. Yes, I got first in that exam, eat or that's what I'm talking about, eat. These are few examples. So friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed knowing these six words which are trending and in use in social media and younger generations. If you find more such words, comment below. Also, if you find this video valuable, please subscribe my YouTube channel and share it to your friends. Small actions like this will motivate me to make more videos and I'll meet you again in next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.